Welcome to Play by Play Podcast, your passport to untold stories of the beautiful game. My name is Patrick Bergman. And my name is Ahmed Ehrim. This is where we're going to tell you about all the untold stories of the beautiful game inside the football and outside the football plays abroad and within the UK, within the game and outside the game, including business. Hi guys, welcome to Play by Play Podcast. The game today talking about untold stories in the game, okay? especially what happens behind the scenes. As you know, <laughs> you've got different characters in the dressing room. Mm. That just tell me, <laughs> well, so many to tell. Tell me what's the wildest story that you've come across in the game of football, including any pranks, any sick stories, any crazy uh, behaviors from managers and anything like that? Let us know. Now, bro, so there is like this one uh, story that I, I I just couldn't understand. It's it's quite uh, eighteen plus, but I I just need to sh- say it because uh, I have never experienced something like that in my life. So uh, I'm on trial in Italy, nineteen years mm. old, and. Uh, after the after the training, we are in the dressing room, and the, the best player in the team he's coming to me. His name was Mirko, so Mirko mm. is coming to me. He's completely yeah. naked, and he starts asking asking stories about my life while fucking wanking. <laughs> no, bro, bro, yes, bro. Wow, that's weird, huh? bro. Oh, I was, like, I was, bro. I was just, just what the fuck? I was <laughs> go away from me, bro. Bro, you got some wild stories, and in the UK it's weird. For example, um, <laughs> um, the sim- I don't know why they do it. Like, the in the showers, I don't again, in abroad. When you go to the showers, it's all like cubicles, but in the UK, it's all like open free for all, mm-hmm. like that. And uh, there's this guy going around pissing on everyone, going hard, you like your golden showers. It's crazy, bro. Because the, the, only, the only reason he did that because the, the team that we went to play against they, they had the issue with hot water. Mm. And he goes, he's going around, he's going, I'll keep you as well. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> bro, this one kid, he got angry. He's like, why are you doing that? Boy? That's punching him and stuff. Oh, this man. Another story is more in training. Frank. Till this day. Bro. Oh, my God. It wasn't even to do with me. It was just like, but he got on me for not saying anything. There was this guy going coming in, um, and I've been started. This is like me coming from academy to the first team, so I don't know what's going on. I don't know the context, don't know the background story, don't know. I've been started clapping, and I'm like, I'm like, oh, start clapping. I'm like, what am I clapping for? They're like, oh, congratulations, uh, on your proposal. He you proposed to his, uh, to his soon-to-be wife, yeah. Ah, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Ah, oh, thank you, thank you. And um, this is how sick people are, like, this is how sick they are. Like, 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 oh, trying to go in it. And I'm like, doing what? Trying to, trying to spice up the marriage. I'm like, he's not even married yet. And he goes, don't worry, I've got something. Like, just keep an eye. That why he goes, just keep an eye in case he comes in. All right. He's like, nah, he's going to the gym. And he goes, oh, is he? Yeah. So this guy gets a new set of lingerie. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Mm -hmm. (laughs) (laughs) What the guy? Because we know this guy always goes home with a set of kit because he always stays behind. So... If the, if we don't put your kit away at a certain time, the kit man goes, oh yeah, you can wash it, you can bring it because I, I've got to go home. Do you know what I mean? 
So this guy, obviously, he me know this guy is busy. He always goes to the gym, always does prehab stuff there. And um, thingy, we know we knew he was gonna take the kit home, but we know his his missus is gonna do it for him. We just know. Mm. A red set inside there, but till this day, I was like, "Don't do this! Don't do this! Oh, don't do it! Don't do it!" The like, was just. <laughs> But they put two, they put two in there. One red, one white. Yeah, put it in there, right there. Yeah. And then obviously you got you you got like a different size, like a bigger one. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And then, yeah, yeah. I'll put it in there. Bro, the next day, bro, that night, the chat was blowing off, bro. Which you, mama? Did this, that I lied, trying to do my marriage, just kick me out the house. This doesn't believe me. She thinks I'm cheating, blah, 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 this and that. Bro, I felt so bad because I got involved. But I didn't get involved. He only got me involved asking, oh, where is he? But I didn't know what he was going to end up doing. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Bro, I felt so bad. I was only like 18, 19, bro. I felt so bad. Right. Like, the guy comes in, start having a scrap. God, was it you? Why was that doing this to me? Was it you? Ah, thinking you can be cheeky, yeah? And he's like, I'm bro, I'm like, nah, it wasn't me. I swear, I swear to God, it wasn't me. I was like, oh, bro, yeah. I'm like, laughing at it. I'm just laughing at it. It goes around, and then the manager comes in, what's going on? What's going on? And like, oh, yeah, he's trying to ruin my marriage. And like, what you he did what? You put on it? Ah! The manager starts laughing, bro. Thank you. <laughs> No, bro, the, the player, his whole face is red, bro. Nah, 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 I'm leaving this club. Nah, I'm going to put a transfer request. I'm leaving this club. This is a, this, this club is meant to be family. You have to run away with my marriage. I spent £10,000 on, on the deposit, put on the wedding. She cancelled the wedding. Da, 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 da. And then that's when we noticed, ah, oh, nah, 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 it was, it was, it was, it was. Ah, uh, bro, we had to bring it in. And I'm doing it. I'm sure that, bro, guess what happened? Next season, he left. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. Bro, like, that's how <laughs> toxic it can be in the dressing room. Oh, yeah. Mm. What's the what's the wildest prank that's happened in the dressing room for you? Not to be honest, I did not have pranks, but... Uh... Bro, I'm, I'm usually the guy that is just sitting there focused on, on, on the session, you know? But like when I was like 14, 15, uh, I remember once uh, I got kicked out from the tra- training session with my best friend mm. because of bad attitude. So we mm. went into the dressing room and we wanted to use the anger. But we had like, motherfucker, <laughs> we need to do something now. We need to destroy something. So we basically, we, we were taking the backs of all the players, flipping mm. them upside down. <laughs> them <Coming together>. yeah. <laughs> I used to do that as well. Bro, so anyone that used to piss me off or, bro, sometimes I'd be wearing Jordans or like a uh, <clears> brand <throat> new pair of horses and people like, they don't want to tangle the shoes together. Yeah. And they strangle them and then they whack her over at the top or something or over the showers or something and I'll like, use that to me da, 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 da. and like they're like little punks and that mm. and like just strangling in it and everything and like they're brand new air forces why would they do that I don't know. Mm. and then um, they're like oh, everyone's laughing but no one snitches in it I'm like you know what yeah there's one time um, there's one time um, I was dead angry and the manager was like, oh, yeah, just cool off. Go to your changes, cool off. So sometimes he says cool off. So as I was cooling off, yeah, I was like, you know what? I'm going to put all my stuff to, in the gym, yeah, so no one touches it. And I'm going to cabbage <laughs> all the bags inside out, hide the shoes, yeah, put it inside out, yeah. And then each player had designated towels, different towels, yeah. The kit man gives him a towel, right? And then every time they go in the shower, and then they put the towel to the side, I take the towel and I put it outside, outside the changing room, and I'm coming out naked like that. Where's the towels? Where's the towel? 
reason, bro. I like that. <laughs> I'm thinking, <laughs> any one of you mess with my stuff, yeah, you're getting it. They're like, oh, don't do that. You're taking the piss now. That's too far. That's too far. It was snowing, bro. They're like this. And then mm. everyone's like, and then um, by the changes, yeah. And then there's a little, like, canteen where you can see the pitch and the changes, right? I'm in the canteen, yeah. And I'm taking a Snapchat, right there. I'm taking a snap, filming it. And you can see them going like this. I'm like, we're in the canteen like that and then they go back in oh, that was funny. Mm. Um, so I have a wild one I have a wild one as well uh, so we had a session with the psychologue yeah. and uh, the task was uh, that we had to we, we got like uh, little small pieces of paper mm. and uh, we had to go to a person and and uh, take this little piece of paper and glue it on the back of the person with some compliment, like for example, oh nice shoes, oh I mm-hmm. I love that you passed the ball to me today, oh great attitude. So we do that and uh, we we make a conspiracy on the on that psychology because she was also walking around and and uh, mm-hmm. and we were also like putting the the stamps on on her back. Mm. And at the end, uh, everyone had to read their compliments out loud. Mm. So, you know, like everyone is reading like, uh, you are a good player, good dribbling, good shooting. And then this mm. psychologue starts to read <laughs> read her things. And the first one is, he's okay, it's, it's, you, are a, you are a good psychologue. But then the mm. next one, you stink, <laughs> brush your teeth, <laughs> you're ugly, <laughs> I hate <Yeah>. you. <laughs> Bro, she's reading that and she's like, I'm not doing this again. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember, but we used to have so many wild ones to be fair. Yeah, I have a, I the, have wild, a the, the wildest manager one. My I have God. a good one. Yeah, I have a good one with manager. We have like a, a box with the fines. Mm. So like uh, when you get fined, you basically bring cash and you need to put the money in the box. Yeah, uh, and this uh, and this box was also in the dressing room. So basically, only the team and the coaches had access to it. Mm. And one day, uh, one player is coming into the dressing room to to put in his fine, and then he's like, "But there is nothing in there. Who mm. took the money?" And then we start talking between each other. Who took the money? What happened to the money? Where is it? And then somebody said that they have seen a manager coming into the dressing room, putting his hand in the jar and taking the money away. That's bad. Uh. That's bad. Yeah. I've got a story like that, by the way. And I've told you. But I need to tell everyone. So managers are human beings. Eh? And human beings, they are messed up people. And there are good people. But unfortunately with this manager... <laughs> I've not seen him have a job since then, to be fair. This man just messed up right there. This what happened. There was some guy. Um, I, I'm, I've never been in this team, by the way. This is what I've been told right there. Um, so some guy comes in crying after he scored the goal. Like, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? Uh, my sister's got cancer. They're like, oh, we're sorry about that. They're, uh, and they're like, um, we'll try to uh, do a fundraising. Fundraising. Eh? We'll ask the fans to put some money. We'll ask the club to put some money. Blah, blah, this and that. So you and your sister can go away on a holiday, blah, 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 because she had terminal cancer. Right? And they're like, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, so obviously, um. So it's being arranged between the manager and the chairman, blah, 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 this and that. And then uh, the manager goes to him, oh, yeah, um, yeah we're going to arrange everything, blah, 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 this and that. And then next minute, the guy goes, oh, we'll get something sorted. We're not going to tell you how much, but we'll get something sorted, right? A few months goes by, blah, blah, blah. The player's not thinking about it too much. He's not coming to training as much because he's too busy going in and out of the hospital or whatever. Um, because he doesn't, he knows he doesn't have much time left with his sister. 
anyways, fast forward a couple few months, the lads are like, oh, lad, how are you? They're like, yeah, you're good. I have you enjoyed the holiday? Like, holiday? Yeah, 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 yeah. We should be fundraised a lot of money for you. It's like, huh? Anyway, I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, what was you away for? I was away because I was uh, in the hospital with my sister, my sister's dad. Oh, I thought we, you went on a holiday because we fundraised £2,000 for it. And £2,000? And he goes, yeah, 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 yeah. He goes, I've, not, I've never heard it or touched that £2,000. Goes to the chairman. Chairman goes, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I've been told we fundraised 1000 We go, but the players said they've collected 2000 Oh, no, no, no. The manager said we've collected uh, 1000 No. Well, turns out the manager put 1000 to the side, or less than 1000 to the side, there, and took the other 1000 And went off with it. Bro, so when it was on Twitter, bro, so it got like a hundred, like millions of impressions. People give him hate comments, everything. Bro, so his account got deactivated. Ever since then, bro, so literally within the next match, the guy got sacked. And this was two years ago, I think. And the guy hasn't got a job since. And he got fired from his day job as well. That's good, bro. Do not, bro that's good. Bro, that's karma. Bro, do you know how, do you know how messed up that is, bro? You're holding someone, someone with cancer, money. Mm. That's crazy, bro. And the bad, the worst thing is the play them, no? You know what? What money? What money, bro? You seen him cry, and he's scoring goals for you, and he do that to him, and he's your best player. Bro, it's just crazy, bro. It's crazy, bro. Managers are weird, bro. I'll be honest in that. Don't laugh. Mm. For every five managers, there's only one good one that I've come across. That's my ratio. The rest are either weird. They have or they have the worst man management skills, or they're just straight up liars, or they're just a, they're just a bad manager. And then the one good one, they end up getting a better job or moving up or um, going to a different country. That's every time for me. Have you got any other wild stories about managers? About managers, if I have any wild stories. To be honest, no. No. I, I have one. I have one more. Yeah, it's come on. To be fair. Come on. There's some guy, um, he's a freshie. Um, black. Like night pitch black, bro. Like under the bed type of black, right there. So this guy, yeah, he's a goalkeeper. And um, we're playing a preseason game. And he comes out. Oh, bro, he's fully naked, right there. And bro, I'm, I'm just minding my business. Man, he goes, bloody hell, you got a weapon. And he's like, huh? The guy's a pressure, he doesn't understand. Oh, you got a weapon? And he goes, what do you mean? He goes, got a third leg? Like? And he's like, huh? Bro. But I'm minding my business, I'm not even looking. Oh, he's there. And, uh, and he goes, what about the hell? How much is that weigh? And he goes, what do you mean? And he goes, can I have a feel? No way, no, 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 no. <laughs> No. I have a feel. No. And the guy goes, the guy goes, <laughs> no, fuck off. <laughs> and he goes, oh, that's heavy, that. And he goes to the lads, hey, yo, I don't have a feel. <laughs> and then he goes to me, Ahmed. Is yours like that? I'm thinking, I'm getting off. See you later. Oh. I'm getting off. No, I go, no, 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 seriously. Are all, you, like, are all black people like that? That's crazy, that. That's a weapon, that. Oh, you must be causing serious damage. I'm thinking, oh my God. 
bro. I walked out and then, yeah, state managers are tapped in the head. Man said, can I have a few? Crazy, bro. That's crazy, bro. Mm-hmm. Uh, bro. Honestly, I don't think I was going on, bro. I wasn't even looking at him for this. Oh, the dressing room is weird. Man, this is not normal. But the thing is, I, I don't know why, but it's very normal. In the UK culture, very normal. But to me, I'm like, what's going on? Even to you, it's like, what's going on? And it's just the UK culture, bro. I don't, or even like, even stuff like when we, we're on a coach away games, bro, just sometimes when they, obviously, you, have you ever done an initiation? One time, where, but when but you're I, new. Yeah, yeah one time, but I, I slide away from it. Uh, yeah, but I, I, I've never slid away. I've always been. So there's, um, there's one time then I, I was singing. Um, bro, that man were like getting gas too much, and then they're getting drunk and everything on the coach on the way back home, and I'm like, this is crazy. Let's say for example, um, bro, I, I don't understand. Like they just get, they just slip, just slip off. Nothing on. They go, <laughs> but singing for four or five hours on a journey back home, bro. And I'm like, what's going on? It, to be honest about the journey, bro, I have a story about one one friend. We we are about to take the bus to, to travel six hours to away game. Mm. And just before the, the going into the bus, the, my friend mm. uh, was uh, cutting the bread. He cut his finger open, and he was uh, he he bandaged this a little bit. Mm. And he was sat on the bus, bro. My guy was bleeding for six hours straight, bro. When he came out, he was like, uh... and they took him to hospital immediately. Uh, so I like, imagine imagine six it. hours he was sitting with the with the finger here. He was like, uh. uh... Bro. So be careful so, in the uh, kitchen. Yeah, there's one other one which I never understood. There's one time there was a new manager came in. We were in relegation zone. And um, the guy goes, All oh, 22 players, I want you to on the coach. Bear in mind, you can only take 16. Do you get me? Mm. 11, 5 on the bench, right? But he bought 22 of us on it and he didn't tell us who's playing, who's not, right? Bro, that journey was four and a half hours away. But we sat there in the journey going out, why'd you bought us all here? Blah, blah, blah. He goes, hmm. now that I'm here, things are going to be done differently, okay? If you don't like the way I do it, you can walk out, okay? Is that understood? We were just thinking, like, this is your first day. Who do you think you are? Do you know what I mean? And there's not even an easy day. Papa Ruthless. He, when we got there, he put the top goal scorer on the bench. He put the guy that scored the hat trick two games ago on the bench. He put um, me on the bench and then two other players. Because all of you guys are going to be doing fitness. Yeah. Uh, what, what, what for? He goes, that's what you get for talking behind my back. Like we weren't talking about behind your back. We were just we were just talking. And you're like, no, no, no. Don't talk back to me when don't talk back to me. Okay. Do as you told, go on. But do you know what happened in that game, bro? Mm. We got B five. And we're looking at him go. And one of the players went, that's what happens when you don't play your best players. Next game, he done the exact same thing. <laughs> but I was thinking, why are you getting us to drive on away games? When bear in mind, this is not league. So if you're not on the bench, you don't get paid. So you're doing four and a half hours. Stay there for two hours, four and a half hours for nothing. Because you're not getting paid. So we were just out there fuming going like, why is he doing that for? 
Like some managers, like I'm like, what a joke! Oh my god, my guy think he's Marco Beasley, bro. I'm thinking, bro, honestly, when he talked to him, bro, walks away, bro. Poor management, poor man management skill, bro. He, when he got that new job, he stayed for like ten games and he got sacked. That one season, we went through four coaches, bro. It was bad. So I have a story from uh, me being on the bench. So uh, there is uh, before the game, the coach uh, announced the, announced the squad, and he's writing the squad, and my name was not in the squad. It's written below. If somebody gets injured, Patrick uh, is is jumping in. And bro, of course, I was exactly, I was exactly like, Louis, what the fuck? I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that shit. I'm too good for this. And I, I got depressed because I was a young, younger kid there. And I got depressed and I started walking around the city and I, while, the, while they were warming up. And I started walking around the city uh, in my tracksuit and like, fuck this life. I don't know what should I do. I'm so depressed and uh, I don't know if I should continue playing in this club and blah, blah, blah. And then I see my mother calling me three times, four times. Uh, suddenly I answer it. And, and then I say, yes, what? What do you want? And she says, immediately run to the training ground. You will play. And I, I said, what? What's going on? What? So I, so, I stopped the, so I stopped the phone and started running to the stadium. And the, the, the coach is like, Patrick, where have you been? Uh, listen, uh, Maxi got injured and uh, you will be on the bench. And I'm like, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, good, good. I will be on the bench. I might play. So I'm sitting, uh, sitting there on the bench and thinking, okay, okay, I'm coming in. I will play. Let's go. 85th minute, okay, maybe five minutes. Yeah, okay. 90 minutes. Bro, my depression got even harder. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I was just, I wanted to kill this coach, kill myself, kill everyone. I was like, oh, fuck my life. If there's one thing I wish managers were better, my management skills. Yeah. I wish managers were better with that, honestly. Some of them don't know how to manage people at all. Some of them don't even give explanation. Bro, like... Say if you give an assist, there's one game I gave him two assists. Next game, I'm not even on the squad. And he goes, yeah, yeah, we're just, um, we're just, uh, we're just, it's a change of formation, mate. This and that, we're changing the tactics, blah, blah, blah. This and that. Then the week after, they signed two new players from the league above. Both of them play in my position. I said, oh, mate. Um, apologize for that, blah blah. blah. Um, but we we we're, we're gonna change the face of the squad, this and that. Um, we're we're just telling you because you want to, we can't guarantee it. game time. If you want to walk out, you're more than happy to. I'm like, what the hell? Yeah, hard, bro. All right, all right, cool. I'll right, say less, cool, cool. Next minute, mm. I'm again. Uh, bro, it's just like all because managers in non league are very greedy because they're like, Oh, yeah, a guy got released from a league book, oh, I need to take him, even though he don't need him. Or, or like, I'll be like, Oh, yeah, I, a guy from Manchester United 23s want to go on loan, oh, we'll take him, we'll take him, even though we got three strikers. Because it looks good for the for the small club, do you know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. they will get more clout, more exposure, more attraction, more. I don't know. Just, even though you're winning, even though you're keeping clean sheets, even though I don't know. Oh, I just, I, and this is why I don't like non league because it's a free for all. Whereas in abroad, you got summer transfer, winter. Stick to your players, work on them. And I feel like that's why the man management skills in the UK is very bad, like very bad. Um, yeah, so we have uh, seven minutes left. Uh, last topic weird coaching methods. 
I have experienced plenty of those and uh, I'm, I'm eager to know uh, what were yours, but let me start. So uh, I remember I used to have a coach that was a big fan of, uh, of the military movies. And bro, before the session, even before the session started, we had to go into a sand, like a sand uh, playground. Where it's like uh, sand on the, on, you know, like sand and there are some things that you can climb around and blah, blah, blah. And we had to do like 40 minute climbing up and down on the sand barefoot climbing under the bridges and doing some, some you know, like some <laughs> military stuff, <laughs> doing push-ups on the sound and then doing the squats on the sound as well. And bro, this was all before the session. So that was like his method to, to get fit. <laughs> I had another thing where they were trying to build chemistry in the team. Oh, that guy. Port some dead song I got his left arm around um he's uh he, wa he wanted us all to sing together bro he was the only one singing and they just go mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and then the teammates go and I'm laughing he's like do you think it's funny and I'm like that's so funny and then everyone's going like that to me, I'm not even even more. Just not, just not. Start again. And one, two, three. And I'm thinking, oh my <laughs> god, oh, it's embarrassing, yeah. Come out the changes, ready to go to go out, um, and start the game, bro. The referee was laughing. He was laughing at us, <laughs> teammate. The opposing the opposition team they were laughing at us. They go, <laughs> I couldn't take oh. it. I couldn't take it, but that game, that game, oh bro, I was on the bench anyway. So that game we got we lost like six 0 or something. Oh bro, it was bad. It was bad. Oh bro, some managers just force things too much. Um. So I have a, I have similar story. 2014, I'm uh, with my club in a tournament in France. And there is uh, one African team, I think it was from Algeria. And, you know, we, we, we're supposed to play them and we are just warming up normally. Bro, they are coming out from the dressing room with a speaker. And they're like, hey, hey, Samba, hey, hey, Samba. And the coach with them, hey, hey, hey let's go, Samba. Bro, we were looking at them like they are crazy. They smoked us 8-0. <laughs> just, <laughs> just dancing before the game. <laughs> yeah, that's all that man reminds me of. I've seen the, the Ghana team when they were dancing at the African Nations Cup going yeah, like this. Yeah, yeah. Then the kids going. Yeah. Like that, bro. <laughs> Boy, them man are happy, bro. Them man are just get, collecting their paycheck, bro. They don't care. They don't care if they're starting. Yeah, do you know what I mean? There's, there's, there's been loads of stories for me. Even like winning and like the typical stuff where I just put the water bucket over the manager's head and we won a game or won a cup or something. Mm. Um, I also had a coach that was a fan of static stretching. And bro, after, I, ev after every training and also after a game, come on lads, let's do static stretching. Bro, one time we played a hard game I played 90 minutes, static stretching. Bro, injured the next day. I the ball, like, I'd never understood that. Like there was a one, there was one manager. It wasn't even a manager, it was like he was like a coach. It was so old school. Um like you do passive stretch static. So basic, not passive, yeah, passive static. So like you'll do it in partners. So your partner will push you. To the deepest mm -hmm. stretch, he's going all the day, and I'm like, yo, 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 you be like, oh shit, oh shit, and I'm thinking, my hamstring, my hamstring's gonna pop, go push it, push it, push it, and I'm like, <laughs> I'm thinking, and you're like, good, and swap, oh, the like, I'm like, and oh, breathe, and breathe, <laughs> my hamstring, and then 
and then you're in a split like that. The green one, yeah, mm, mm. The green one, and his foot is inside of your of your of your leg, and there's other foot inside of your other leg, yeah, and your foot's like that, and then you hold hands and he pulls you, and left. <laughs> hold it there, baby, the second, and do it that way, and you're pulling him, going, <laughs> and you're going this, bro, bro. That, that summer camp, oh my days, I could almost do the splits. It was that severe. Oh, bro. Mm. I was paying for, oh, I was so bad, bro. Like, before the session and after the session, I was just too much, honestly. Wow, that was an episode. If you want to see more, check out this one.